You're welcome. It's time for fashion. And yes, you have Mazino in for fashion today, but I'm not alone because I have here showcasing some of her beautiful pieces for us, Mary Damilo Joseph. Now, she's the creative director of House of the Desma. She has carved a niche in free and comfy clothing to give women comfort and confidence. You are welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you. Very Grand. Much. First off, I'd like to ask what you're wearing. Of course, I know the answer, but tell us what this is. This is an Kimono jacket. Adire kimono jacket. Yeah. Now, kimono and adire, two very diverse cultures. Because kimono is more Asian and adire is absolutely Nigerian. But you've welded the two together. Was there a process to thinking or to the thought of uh, uh, to, to you know putting these two cultures together in your fashion? Uh, um, and just trying to let us know that there is nothing we cannot make out of our own African print. Mm -hmm. So. We can use our African print to make any lovely designs we want. So oh, that's as you can see, I'm um, wearing it. So not minding either if it's in Akara or Adire, but you can still be Oh, on. that's grand. In a minute, we're going to have somebody who's going to model one of your uh, pieces for us. So you just stand, uh, uh, stay put and uh, check this out. So I see some of your material or some of your products here with us. I, I'm not a lady, so I can't put these on. But I want you to talk us through some of the designs that you have brought with you here and why they are so formed and what the idea or uh, um, what's it called behind them are. What are we looking at currently now? Okay, this is a shiki dress. Shiki. So... You know, mostly I work with the plot size to give them the comfort, uh, that's comfort. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, sometimes the plus size women find it difficult to dress as in, mm. because of their body shape, especially the tummy size. Okay. But our, our, our dresses give them that comfort, that confidence that, yes, they can still be beautiful mm. with, without uh, body shaming or whatever. So that's free flowing free yeah. fitted yeah. Uh, comfortable, comfortable dresses. dresses if you had asked me i'd have thought t-shirt first off but you found a way to make this out of adira material yeah. um do you also have some for men as well or are you just strictly for ladies yeah we do for men also but, uh, today but you didn't bring I any just, man any, yeah. any male <laughs> uh, um, where did you so this is another dashiki i'm looking at here and i can yeah. see the asho okay input in there uh, what's the reasoning behind this free-flowing Adire slash Ashoke number? As I just said earlier, it's just to work with African prints. African prints, Everything okay. Everything Africans. All right. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. We're looking at them here as I'm talking about them, but we have a model standing by with one of your products. So you're going to talk us through what she's wearing and maybe she's going to do a twirl for us. Let's take a look at our model and what she's wearing from the house of that Desma here. Uh, take a look at that. We're going to pan back very soon so you can see all of that. So talk us through this, please. Okay, this is an off-shoulder dress. It's an off-shoulder dress that, you know, we do danshiki, but this here, some female wants to show off their body a little. So mm. that's what brought the concept of this. And okay. here, this, this rope, you can bring it yeah, down. Yeah, I noticed that there's a bit of uh, a yeah. rope uh, down there on the yeah. side. What's the, you could raise. You can raise it up. Make it shorter. Shorter and you can still leave it flowy. Okay. So it's a two-way dress in just a particular dress. Okay, so do you make tailored clothes? Do I have to come to you for measurements first? Or do you just make these ready to wear? Yeah, we do ready to wear. Mm -hmm. So and we work mostly with size 14 to 22. Now, is there a reason behind why? Yeah, you can see the ropes we're, we're talking about there. That's very beautiful as we pan all the way from um, bottom to top for our model here, exhibiting this beautiful number from House of the Desma. Thank you very much. That's so beautiful. That's nice. I wish you could try on more because there's so many that you have on here. Now, this one here is one with a difference, still free fee, uh, uh, fitting, but um, what makes it different? What is that material there, I feel? That's an ashoke too. That's ashoke as well. Yes. That's a dark ashoke yes. and the pockets in front. Ladies don't need pockets, but you have implemented pockets inside of uh, this one. What would each of these pieces cost, by the way? From 8,000. From 8,000. Yeah. It's that simple. Wow, that is very interesting. And are you looking forward to doing an exhibition of your material or rather your products anytime soon that we should be looking forward to? 
Yes, we, I normally attend a lot of exhibitions, but the one that we have maybe any moment from now, we are looking at maybe the Lagos International Trade Fair. Oh, okay. That normally comes around November. Okay, yeah. so you'd be exhibiting there or you, yes. you'd I've also been be selling? I've been exhibiting you there. You have been I, doing that yes, in the yes, past. Every year. All right, interesting. And how have people embraced your style of fashion so far? Yeah, they are... Pa mm. There's a lot of patronage, especially people that love African prints. Okay. Yes. Mm. We're taking a look at some of your wares now on screen. You can see some of the things that she has put together. Very interesting pieces here. All free-flowing, all very nicely fitted, or rather uh, free-fitted for um, the African woman. And very colorful as well. Your use of color is... Uh, do you draw? Do you paint? No. You don't? Well, your use of color makes it seem like as if you actually are, well, you are an artist in yeah. any case. Well, these are very beautiful um, pieces here that you can uh, perhaps maybe find at the house of the Desma. I think we have uh, uh, an iteration of that one we just showed. That was what our model uh, was just wearing. Have you started to export any of these anyway? Yes, I have people that I produce to resell. Okay. Yeah, I have one customer at um, Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire. Yeah, and nice. Ivory Coast also. And Ivory Coast yeah. as well. What about outside of Africa? Do people... Um... Yeah, I sell on Africa. Okay. So people from US, UK used to order and I send to them. Well, that's fantastic. And they keep coming back, I bet, because yes, these sir. are absolutely beautiful pieces. Well, Mary, it's been fantastic um, having you on the show. We're going to close with some of your pieces still uh, showing on, on TV here. But we're looking forward to more. I... Specifically, I'm looking forward to more male uh, attires, and I'm hoping that the next time that you come on the show here, we'll have sure. some of that. Maybe I can stand in as your model that time, sure. and I'm not taking them off. I'm just going to go with them. Yes. Well, Mary, thank you very much for coming thank over on our much. fashion segment today. Thank Please you. make sure you check out House of the Decima. She's on Instagram. You might want to pick up one or two of these very fine pieces that she has. And if you're a guy, do not despair. Sometime next week, I'm sure she's going to have something ready for us. Yes, Mary? Sure. <laughs> yes, indeed. So do stay tuned. There's more coming your way inside of Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs>